All right, guys, we're going to have some fun with the Evolution Rage Sliding Miter Saw. We're going to customize a baseball bat. Evolution, all right? Probably the most versatile miter saw on the market. If you haven't seen my videos on it, you know, we'll cut wood, cut PVC, cut steel. I mean, it's just very versatile, all right? Um, great, great miter saw. But anyway, for the people who have kids, um, a lot of the tournaments all of a sudden, probably started around two or three years ago, actually here in, in New Jersey, we had a child get hurt pretty badly. Uh, he was a pitcher, and he took a line drive to the chest, and it's actually stopped his heartbeat. So um, I, the kid almost died, or I, he actually might have died. I don't really remember. But ever since then, they kind of been changing these bats, all right? If you're familiar, they kind of moved to the USA bats. And a lot of tournaments now are going to all wood bat tournaments, all right? Now, there's a problem. Now, it's great that they're using wood. Old-fashioned wood is the best way to do it. But... Unfortunately, there's youth bats and adult bats. Now, the problem with the youth bats is they're all two and a quarter inch barrels, and they are so light. You know, they're around a nine to a 10 inch drop. All right, so you got that little barrel, right? And it's really lightweight. So it's really, really tough to drive the baseball. And then you got these adult bats, all right? This is a 3330 that is way too long and way too heavy for a 12-year-old, 13-year-old. So, I'm going to show you what you can do to give your son or daughter an advantage with these new rules with these wood bats. All right, so like I said, we got a... Louisville Slugger here, all right, this is a 3330 Pro Stock Adult Bat. You got that nice two and five eighths barrel here, all right? Um, just a real solid. This is ash, by the way. Um, there's maple, there's composites. Um, this is old-fashioned ash. That's what they used to use a lot uh, back in the day. So you got an ash bat here. Now, like I said, it's a 3330, all right? So my son uses around a 30-inch bat. So we're going to take a little bit off this, all right? And you got this hollow end to it, too, which, you know, we're going to get rid of this. It's no good, all right? So we got the Evolution sliding miter. All right, guys, so we got the Evolution all set up, plugged in. Um, and, guys, if you ever need relationship advice, I don't know, any type of advice. If you need advice or support, that's what's great about these Evolution tools as well. Uh, they're always there to kind of help you out, no matter what kind of situation you're in. But all seriousness, guys, this thing is built like a brick, brick house. All right, really well uh, supported really thick uh, sliding uh, support uh, for your sliding miter here. All right, great at you know catching the debris, the dust from whatever you're cutting. All right, uh, again, you can hook a vac up to this if you want, whatever you want to do. It's all in the blade, guys. All right, um, this is the Rage 3 blade, I think it's called. Again, can cut anything, but a really well made saw. Um, this is the 10 inch. All right. They also have a 12 inch, but, um, a, a very solid miter and they're not really that expensive guys. All right. So let's get her done here. All right. So again, we want to take around two, two and a half inches off here of your pro stock. All right. So make sure it's set. Cause you don't want to mess this up. Take off enough right about there. All right, so make sure we want to take around two, two and a half inches off. 
That should be lined up pretty good. And let the evolution get the job done here. Okay. So, perfect. Actually, a perfect cut. All right, guys. But if you're going to do this, guys, don't do it like me. Don't eyeball it. Make sure you measure it, all right? Because uh, the last thing you want to do um, is not cut enough, enough off and hit that hollowed out area. And you're basically going to, you know, destroy the bat and it's going to be no good. All right. So measure it. Um, as you can see, really nice quality wood from Louisville Slugger. Nice ash, hard wood. One of the hardest woods out there, actually. But now, basically, we'll probably show you another video. I'm going to sand this down a little bit, put a little curve to it, uh, and then put some stain and some poly, probably put some polyurethane on it. This area gets beat up a lot. So going to sand it down. All right, a um, little stain, little poly, and it's pretty much ready to go, guys. Again, with these bats, you don't have a lot of choices. Um, this is really one of the best ways um, to get your child a good bat. All right, guys, so like I said, perfect cut with the evolution. All right, um, that's really it, guys. Um, if you want to shorten a bat for your, for your child... Again, if the youth bats don't have a big enough barrel, if they're a little bit too light, um, this is probably the probably the best way to go. All right. Um, what I'm going to do now, like I said, is I'm going to sand this. Obviously, you don't want it flat like this. I'm going to sand this down a little bit, put a little stain and some polyurethane, probably to you know protect because it gets thrown down a lot the kids are always bashing it down so we'll sand it stain it put a little polyurethane and um about be ready to go guys all right again we took this from a 33 okay to probably a 30 30 and a half and this was 30 ounces actually we can weigh this let's weigh let's do it baby All right, so like I said, this was 33 ounces. Now it's 28, okay? And we'll call it 29. All right, so I took... Actually, it was 30 and a half ounces. So I took almost two ounces off. So 1.6 ounces will, will make it easy. All right? Um, it wasn't that it was heavy wasn't really the biggest issue but it definitely was um but now he's got a shorter bat again a 33 is way too long yeah and this was, i just took off 1.85 so this was a little bit more it was closer to 31 ounces guys because this is almost two ounces here so took two inches off probably and two ounces all right, I could have went down a little bit more, but, and you'll take more ounces off, guys, if you don't have this type of end, you know, this hollowed out end uh, that they do with the with the uh, machine, all right? Um, I don't know why they're, you know, a lot of people will not buy bats that are kind of hollowed out like this. Um, unfortunately, for me to get a 33.30, um, I didn't want to spend a lot of money, right? So this is what I had to kind of deal with. But a lot of the cheaper bats will kind of have this hollowed out uh, end to it. But again, if you have a solid end, you'll actually end up taking more ounces off um, than with a hollowed out um, bat end here. All right, so that's really it, folks. All right, we're gonna we'll continue this in another video. And you'll see the finished product, but um, I'm not going to be able to do this until tomorrow, so. All right. The Evolution. 10-inch sliding 
Miter.